So it says here that you critically hit him. Is that true? Yes, sir, I did. And how do you think that made him feel? Probably like his super senses were useless. Hello guys and welcome back. We are doing day four, pack nine of the next phase set. I am really excited because we still have not seen a chase yet. So last two boosters could get something fun. So far we've seen a prime, a couple super rares. Jeez. Is this, is he always this close? Was this what it was like for you guys? <laughs> Whatever, enough chit chat. Let's just get right into it. Ooh. Ooh. Could be anything. All right. Oh, I see a repeat, but one that I'm not mad about. Whoa. Okay, so we've seen this, we've heard about this. All right. So we have a common tracksuit, which Calder unboxed on the first day. We've got Emil Blonsky again, and that was one that Simeon had pulled. We've got a really fun one. Look at this, guys. The trick arrows just coming right at you, too. A... Oh! Wait, hold on. Also tracksuit, but this one is uncommon. He's got a mask and a crowbar instead of a bat, bro. That's fun. And then, of course, Madison from the She-Hulk show. That is a lot of fun that she made the set. Coming in at 20 points. I'm interested to see what she's going to do. So let's get all of our new guys here. We'll set off the old ones and we'll break into the cards, which... Oh boy. <laughs> this is really, really thick. This is a lot of cards here. So let's see what we've got. So Emil, we've seen you. New tracksuit, new Madison who instantly has Wongers written on her card. That's a lot of fun. We've got a Baby Groot in a spa. It says Chase feature, so Chase Baby Groot, and then a hint number three, which is We Are Groot. And I believe we've actually seen both of those. That looks like the common and then the rare uh, PJ Groot. And then the Trick Arrow Putty, Trick Arrow Sonic, Trick Arrow Acid, Trick Arrow Electrical, Trick Arrow USB, Trick Arrow Too Dangerous, and Trick Arrow Big. Seven, one, two, five, six, seven of them. Wow, so one booster, guys, one figure. You get seven cards with that, and then the tracksuit card. All right, well, I think we're gonna talk about the trick arrow last, because that seems like it's gonna be pretty exciting. We'll just jump right into the masked tracksuit here. We'll see what he does. So he also has the expendable goon trait, and it's trust a bro, which is very fitting if you've seen the Hawkeye show. Uh, when tracksuit is KO'd by an opposing character, after resolutions you may roll a d6. One through three, destroy a terrain marker within four squares of the square tracksuit last occupied. So I believe the other one gets to move one square. It's kind of like the, the moving company. And then this one's destroying things, so maybe a little more of the criminal side of things with the tracksuits. And then four through six, we've seen this. Generate a character with an expendable goon trait on its 15 point starting line adjacent to a friendly character. So, last one we saw was some sidestep energy explosion and power. This one is a stealth outwit piece on the top dial, and then a stealth exploit at the 15, which is pretty interesting. That could come in handy, you know, if you get that expendable goon roll. Getting an exploit attack off for 15 points, I'm never going to complain about. So tracksuit, pretty cool. And the sculpt is always fun. I'm going to have to collect a ton of these guys, and I know Simeon will too. So, Madison... Celebrity mystical keywords. She also has the underworld team ability, which for 20 points, once again, what a steal. Traded shape change, this is Wongers. Three clicks of life, okay. And then once per game, when Madison would take damage, you may instead place Madison adjacent to a friendly character with the mystical keyword. If you do, turn Madison to click number three. If that character is named Wong, you may turn her to click number one instead. Okay, so kind of like a pseudo stop click there. That is actually really interesting. That's gonna give her some staying power. And then shape change as well, like a rollout. She might be harder to deal with than but she should be. <laughs> Two ends, one Y, but it's not where you think is the move special. That's really fun. At the beginning of your turn, roll a D6. One, an opponent places Madison up to one square away from her current square. Two through six, move Madison up to two squares. Okay, so she's got like a sidestep ability that can kind of screw you over. I'm assuming that's something to do with like the portals that she finds herself in throughout the show. And then the last one is a damage special called Pact with Jake, 
which is perplex. Madison may use it a second time each turn if she's adjacent to a friendly character with the mystical keyword. That is really solid. She is unique, so you can't stack that, but a double perplex shape change that your opponent might struggle a bit to kill. Madison seems like a pretty solid figure, and then also giving Underworld out uh, for 20 points seems like a pretty good deal. I like that a lot. But now, ooh, my goodness. This might take a minute, guys. We gotta talk about the trick arrows. So once again, the sculpt, this is really fun for an equipment. Really like thick swoosh effect here. Arrow flying right at you. And we have seven cards to go through. So first things first, uh, let's see. Yep, it looks like they are all indestructible. The name slash keyword that they function with to get them for free is marksman and the unequip is drop. And the way that these function, guys, we see like we have qualifying names, keywords on the back. Uh, that's just going to clarify that if you have the marksman keyword, you're good to go. It's free. And then when unequipped, place this object in the previously equipped character square. Character that's equipped by this object can use its effect. A force may only contain one trick arrow equipment. Once per game, when this is equipped, place up to three trick arrow cards face down. You may look at them. When this character hits, you may flip over a face down trick arrow card and perform its on reveal effect. Okay, so you get to pick three of these at the start of the game, place them in a little uh, kind of trap card deck and decide when they're gonna go off. So we'll start with the putty arrow. We'll just go in order here, uh, 15A to G. We have the putty arrow, which is on reveal, generate up to four squares of hindering terrain markers in or adjacent to a hit target. At the beginning of your next turn, remove these hindering terrain markers. Opposing characters occupying or adjacent to these hindering terrain markers must roll for breakaway and cannot automatically break away. That is pretty cool. I like that a lot. All right, we'll just be quick though. Trick arrow sonic effect on reveal. Choose a hit character and all opposing characters adjacent to them. Give those hit characters an action token or give those characters an action token. So you choose a hit character and then everyone adjacent to him. You don't have to hit them. They all take a token. That seems pretty dang strong as well. We also have on reveal. Choose a hit character this turn. If that character would reduce damage, they reduce damage by one less. Okay. And that's the acid arrow. That's very fun. That could be very strong as well. We've got effect on reveal. This is the electrical arrow. Choose a hit character. Instead of normal damage, deal two penetrating damage to the chosen character and up to one other opposing character within two squares of the chosen character. Okay. It's a little like chain lightning and two penetrating. Man, these things seem really nasty for 10 points. We've got Trick Arrow USB on reveal. Instead of normal damage, destroy an equipment equipped to each hit character. Whoa. <laughs> this is insane value. And with the situational use of the Trick Arrows, these things seem absolutely insane. We've got Trick Arrow Too Dangerous. On reveal, choose a hit character. Instead of normal damage, deal three damage to the chosen character and all characters adjacent to them. Knock back each damage character one square. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of damage again. Trick arrow big. On reveal, choose a square adjacent to a hit character. After resolutions, this character may use Quake as freeze if they occupy the chosen square. And after resolutions, generate a blocking terrain marker in the square. So, yeah, big arrow coming down from the sky. That is super, super fun. I mean, based on these effects, really, really, really impactful. We've seen the Marksman keyword a few times in this set. Wow, I mean, this is, this is really, really stellar. I'm gonna say you're gonna see this in competitive play for sure. But guys, that is pack nine. We are gonna move on to pack 10. We have not seen a chase yet. So tomorrow, should be fun.